black men and seeing all the um, social unrest that's going on, I really want to reach young men and make sure that they know how important their vote is and their vo and their voice is. What's what's your message to them? Uh, we 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 need it all. Um, and I know that there are a lot of young people who think that it doesn't matter. You know, they are just too frustrated with the whole system. They don't like politics. They don't trust politics. They don't trust law enforcement. They don't trust anything that has to do with a system. Right. And I get it. Um, you know, a lot of our young men have been victimized by a system that has, has proven to be unjust. And so people don't trust. Um, but the bottom line is that we live in a democracy and this is how power is determined. Um, there will be one of two men who will be the president of the United States, whether we vote or not. And there is a big difference. And if we really want to get at the issues that impact us from having access to jobs, a decent right. education, being able to pay our bills, having a criminal justice that isn't arbitrary, a, a system that isn't arbitrary, uh, having better relationships with law enforcement, right. uh, to uh, saving our planet. Um, the only way to impact those issues is to vote. Protests, rallies, all of that, critical. Proud of all the young people that are out there doing it from all backgrounds. That is a part of the solution is making your voice heard, coming together, rallying. But if that's all we do is a protest and a hashtag, you know what the powers that be do? They'll let us protest all day long. All day long march, and be march. right at the polls. The soles off your feet because I will still run this thing as long as you stay home and don't vote. It is as simple as that. Um, so if we really wanna make change, Real fundamental change and change is still slow. You know, your vote doesn't guarantee you that it all goes away. I had a lot of people who were like, well, there's still racism. We had a black president. Well, no, big change doesn't go away after eight years, 10 years, it's generational. And we're putting a marker down, not just for ourselves, but for our kids. You know, our votes today may not make a bit of difference in our lives, but, but our kids better be sure. You know, how right. they are, are treated in the world, you know, how they show up in the world, how, what kind of opportunities they have, how they're viewed, how they're loved and respected. That's being decided on November 3rd, period, point blank, end of story. <laughs> That's it. That was great. And I tell you, in, in the sports world, we always say, like, what's our why, right? Mm -hmm. Like, why do you play? Why do you train? And so the reason why you vote is like you said, it's, it's for your kids. Yeah. You may not see the change, but your kids absolutely, absolutely should be able to see the change. So Mrs. Obama, I say thank you. A big thank you to Nike for allowing uh, When We All Vote to use the platform today. It's been a long day, been a great day, some great conversations, and you know your time is precious. And I'm so grateful for you being here. So everyone, please go to When We All Vote figure out how you guys can get registered to vote. And thank you as always. Thank you, Chris. I want to thank you <laughs> and everyone else that has been involved in this amazing day. It has been a huge success. All of the DJs, all of our other friends and celebrities who have uh, joined in to make this possible. We've had experts. We've had our When We All Vote team. Um, it couldn't have been a, a more successful day. And I am grateful to everyone who made this day possible. Chris, I love you. Give your family my best. And love you too. You to do the same. When we can be together. <laughs> Absolutely. But until right. then, we got to vote. That's All right. Love you much. Right. Chris, I fight you, man. Man, I'm trying to fight, man. I'm trying to get ready, man. You fight it too? Man, I, let me, I can teach you something, man. It's all, it's all about being out of that center line, you know, when you throw that jab, you go here. You know what I mean? All about that. You know? Like, this is what Tyson used to do. Like, see, when he was, when he was in the corner, see, like, it's all about, like, creating angles. When he knocked out, um, tell these motherfuckers.
subscribe to the Profit channel. Oh, they got you. With Profit Muscle. Yeah.